My name's Tony Robinson, I'm Chief Instructor for AR Krav Maga Self-Defence Training and I'm based in Norwich. Okay, go shoulder to shoulder. Just quickly check, we've got groin protection on. Cool. Gun shields in our pockets ready to go. Have we got any injuries before we start? No? Good. Hands by side. Kidar. Start moving around the room as quickly as you can. Let's go. Don't stay in front of anybody more than a couple of seconds. Move in different directions. Move to the left, move to the right, sideways, backwards, all over the place. When we go through the centre, for somebody there and they're not looking around, give them a little slap on the back. Gloves up, gloves up. Well, I spent 30 years in the military. Um, during most of that time, I served in the Army Physical Training Corps. So I've always been a trainer, an instructor, and delivered physical training. So I want you to get into this position, and we're just going to throw the melons backwards and forwards, and use this as an opportunity to just use some stances, some footwork, keeping our elbows down. But at the same time, when we throw the melon forward, we're going to use this little area to frame the guy's head in front of us, just to encourage us to keep our hands up. You all got that? Let's go. I've got a great bunch of students. They come from all walks of life. I've got some teachers out there, some personal trainers, uh, some accountants, I've got some paramedic nurses. Everybody and everybody. This, this is what's good about Krav Maga. It appeals to everybody and everybody can do it. If we have time, we see it early, we're going to get there as soon as we possibly can. Pressing down, strike, we can knee, or we can push away. Happy? Well, a woman might get dragged off the street, absolutely. Uh, anybody could be taken from their point of attack to what we call a secondary location, so we prepare for that. We teach our students to never go to that secondary location. We deal with that there and then. We fight as if our life depended on it at that point. Going to a secondary location is not where we want to go. The rear headlock really has two phases. If you just turn around for me. The first one is this, but then I could be taking him to a secondary location. As his hand comes around, my chin comes down and I grab. Both hands. I reach up and grab. As I pull down, I rotate round, drive the knee in, pan strike, and move out of there. If we can generate power, we can strike our, our attackers with full off. force to vulnerable areas. To the, groin. to the shoulder blades, knee in. I'm pulling in. Boom, boom. Naturally, he's going to this side, but equally, he could go to this side. So don't always anticipate they're going to go to the same side. So I'm here, I'm striking with my knee. This hand is out. I feel there's still fight in him. I can still carry on and deliver more strikes if I feel the need. One more time, watch. So once a month we take all the guys and we go to public areas, like to parks, to fields, to open areas, to all those sort of places where real situations happen. So we condition ourselves to handle those environments of all times. Get off! Back off! Really good. That was really good. Take hold of the knife. Cool. Do the same thing. One more time. My hands are here at the cash point. I'm putting up top whatever. And I look down and Steve has grabbed hold of the knife. So when what? we look at knives, we look at uh, making sure that we can where we possibly can rerun. Our ultimate goal is to create space, to create distance so that we can get away. Well, if you can create that space, that gives you time. And time is key, because time means you can take off a day sack, you can use a briefcase to defend yourself, to put a shield between you and your knife attacker. This is what we try to do. That's at least our main aims. And if they've got friends, we then got into a, a multiple attack type situation. Well, there could be baseball bats, there could be fists, kicks, long arm weapons. Pistols, weapons of all sorts, which are, are not a good situation to be in. But we have a series of kind of principles when we deal with multiple attackers. We prioritise, deal with the, the most imminent threat. See, we can't fight multiple people, but we can change the tactical situation. We're dealing with one at a time, if we can. So my name is Bronwyn. Um, I'm originally from South Africa, but I live in Norwich and I work in IT. I was assaulted quite a few years ago, um, and I wanted to, I never want to be assaulted again. And um, Krav Maga is amazing. So it teaches you how to stay safe, keep you fit, and I feel safer with the streets now. So yeah, it's amazing. I'm Lorraine, I'm from Norwich. I started Krav Maga in July, and from day one I was addicted. It's really good. It teaches you confidence. It becomes part of your life. You just eat, breathe, sleep Krav Maga. Anybody can do it. There's people in their 20s and there's people in their 60s in the club. 
It's not a tournament sport, it's, it's an actual self-defence system teaching you skills to use in real-life scenarios where if you have to use something which could potentially harm somebody, you use it to defend yourself, whereas other martial arts may be more tournament orientated. Um, so yeah, it's really good, I'm enjoying it. I recommend it all the time at work. I always tell my team, do crocodile. Well, in, in the club, our motto is uh, we train to get safer, fitter, smarter, and ultimately to be always ready. Always ready? Always ready.